We got to catch that on Nitty TV, y'all. Yes, sir. Only on Nitty. <laughs> only on Nitty. 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 But if people know or don't know, you know, Giggity did, you know, fair time, did a long time in jail, you know. Marlon Pee Wee did a long time in jail. And, uh, you know, Marlon said he had a hard time, you know, in, in that Baton Rouge, <laughs> in that East Baton Rouge Paris prison. So we're going to bring him back a little bit for people who don't know. Right. Uh, so you said you lost... 182 fights the first year in Baton Rouge. The first year in Baton Rouge, man. Whether you believe it or not, it's all true and based on true stories, bro. And it might have been more. I might be short counting, but I ain't keeping up intact like that. I don't want to embarrass myself like that. You know what I'm saying? 180, I'm in mean, Baton Rouge. Man, listen. <laughs> Past three, I'm in Baton Rouge. So, you did a lot of time in prison. You, you ever witnessed someone lose that many fights in jail? No, because... Um, what happens is, in the fair, once you have one fight, they're going to they're gonna separate you. Okay. You, know, you might get separate team. Or if you do get a chance to come out, it's going to be a, a rumble, or next time it might be a knife fight. Right. So you ain't, no, they ain't, you ain't not doing too much fair fighting in the feds. Whereas the state, so, our state is different. Yeah. You know? So the state more, you can have more of a one-on-one -on -one fight in the state. But in the feds, it's more of a clique, a, a, a crew, a gang, a, a group. Fight. Right. Well, I, I could be a living testimony for the state. Okay, talk to the, the, the state, to me, worked it completely different. Right. I mean, I went through a lot of shit, bro, like, I didn't see coming. I mean, like, the fights, I could check off a line, and I go on another line, and the motherfucker come right back to me. You know what I'm saying? Not word of the mouth travels. You know right. what I'm saying? When somebody checking out the line and shit, they sending you pussy, they saying, you know, trying to get you off the line. That's the type of shit I really went through. And, um... It really got bad, you know, because at night I used to wake up, I'm fighting, yeah. You know, motherfuckers sitting on your beds, you know what I'm saying, in the state, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know how to ask a motherfucker really to get off my bed without having to go on through this shit because if you would look at the old prison from the new prison, and I was trying to let them know, the niggas look different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They look more fucking scared. So I, I got a, for example, I got a 200-pound dude sitting on my fucking rack, and I'm laying in the bed sleeping. I mean, the only thing I could do is say, please, could you get off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but at the end of the day, I wind up getting out of my fucking bed because he put me out my shit. So, if, I mean, I understand it's the feds. Maybe I should have been there. Maybe I would have been protected and safe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, because I don't understand how, first of all, how are you sleeping and somebody <laughs> sit on the bed number one? You don't know. <laughs> safe, you say, you safe. Somebody, Let me show you. Man, we did that. They used to do that in the parish. Oh, yeah? They used to go, they get on each side, wrap the toilet paper yeah. all around, light it up. Light so it up. you was one of the ones who used to do that <laughs> shit. Okay. So you was one of the ones who used to do that Don't try to beat me up to get you to win. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> I saw the homies doing that in the parish. Yeah, but for real, they used to do that. But bro. yeah. They used to dog people out like that. Yeah, there was times like that. But bro, how you sleep in this hall you don't feel about sitting on your bed? Let's talk about that. All right. Sarah Quill. <laughs> okay, let me talk about Sarah Quill. So Sarah now, Quill. The next thing is this here. Why were you a target? Like, were they trying to take your food? Were they trying to take your manhood? What was it that they was fighting you all the time? It was a lot of things. Talk to us. All we right. Know, know, Let's talk know. about the manhood because a lot of people want to talk about the manhood. Let's get this yeah. shit out the way, out of the way. That's what I mean. It was many times I thought actually I was about to lose that. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how this sound coming out from a man, but it was many fucking times I thought I was about to lose my ass. Because the way the dudes used to handle me. Time out. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So I understand you say many times in your mind you thought you about to lose your manhood. So were you willing to give it up? The Fuck no. Beat up? Fuck no. I took the ass with myself. So I wouldn't have to give it up. Real shit. But you just said many times you thought you about to. So already in your mind, like, if the right dude coming on and be like, all right, man, just come on. Don't tell him. <laughs> 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 Fuck no. <laughs> I mean, it sound, it sound, it, it, yeah, it yeah. actually sound. Maybe I worded it wrong. No, nah, you said it. We ain't let you take that back now. But it was a many times, like <laughs> real, real shit, bro. Like mm -hmm. real shit. Mm -hmm. And like I say, when I hit mm -hmm. BR, uh -huh. you know, I'm originally from New Rose. Okay. So that was a a thing of people showing people knowing that I really wasn't from out there. The way I talk, the way I carry, the way I move myself, mm -hmm. and you know, it's like. People telling you actually where you from. 
You know, in BR, you know what I'm saying? They got set, different sets of parts of towns and shit like that. Right. I couldn't be the one to say I was from the park. Because they had niggas in there from the park. Oh, Zion City. Yeah, it got Zion. I couldn't be there. Southside. So I stuck out. So, like, I stuck out the way I talk. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they, they see me as a prey. Because I never was the type of person that liked to fight. You know what I'm saying? The person know me. I never was the type of person to fight. I had people around me to do that shit. I didn't have to, in, I had to interfere with that. But my thing was... When it came to me, I really never did know how to react, but just, I could say fight back, but I'd be lying. I'd take an ass whooping. I know I'd take a good ass whooping. I took many of them. And you know, like, I, I took ass whoopings from just niggas taking my plate. You know what I'm saying? My, my lunch. How you take your lunch? Man, this motherfucker here, this is retarded in the past. Man, the deputies will take your shit. That's how real it is. If you, it's like, I don't know if the, if I, the weak stick out. But it's like real life movies. You, if you watch the movies and you see that shit happening, it really happened to me. And I'm not saying I went there bigger than or none of that shit because I kept it myself. I don't know how you maintain, maybe because of your status or whatever. But when I came in, it was, it was retarded. It was when wrong. You went in? I went in 95. Okay, I was in WCI. I mean, I went to Hunter in 95, went to WCI, and got out in 96. Did you ever go to the parish? No, because he would have me just, I was in New Orleans, Paris. All right, all right. See, yeah, yeah, like when we was in juvenile jail, if we bust the windows and you adult, you're you going to go to the uh, Baton Rouge, Paris. That's where they jump you at. If you tell me from New Orleans, they would be jumping at the homes right. in there. But I've never been, well, I'm lying. I did go to Baton Rouge, Paris. Right into I went to me. Baton Rouge, Paris in 96 or 97. How was your experience? Hmm? How was your experience? It was good because here's the thing. The jail they put me in, they had these balls where, where, where the inmate come to the balls and you give them the money to buy the commissary. All right, it was two main cell or? It was a dorm. dorm. It was a dorm, A wing, B wing, shit like that. Right. All right. No, you know what? That was in Mississippi. God damn. The home, the 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 auto there people had to come pick me up and bring me to Baton Rouge. When they when they brought me to Baton Rouge, now the dude was dead. Now I mean, this dude got the same name, first and last name, uh, same date of birth, everything. Uh, he had an auto theft charge. So by the time the all of their people brought me to uh, Baton Rouge. They had me down there holding cell, and they took my finger when they come in and released me. I never made it in Baton Rouge jail. No, that okay. was the uh, Mississippi. See, and, and that's what I tell a lot of people. Yeah, I never made it. There. It's hard to compare other jails to other jails if you've never been there. Right. But I can tell you the baddest stories about that parish, and it's not just seeing me going through it. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of other dudes go through it, but it's it's like a nightmare. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mention it. So, in other words, you're saying like as soon as you get there, if you know you can't fight that, you saying you need to go get your wall daddy? That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Hey, let, let, me, let, me put it, let me put it to you like this. All right, talk to me. All right. <laughs> it was a way. Talk to me. Honestly. All right. Me thinking that if I get under this nigga, just hang around this nigga, and just kick it with this nigga, I would be safe. So, on the slick side, I might have been getting under the nigga. But at the end of the day, that nigga turned on me. Who is this dude you talking about? It's a lot of dudes. Man, uh, did, he said, um, didn't you get under Mac? I was with Mac with no limit. We were, good stir. With Mac with no limit. We was at Cacardia's and Rivers and Rivers. We was at Cacardia's and Rivers. And um, just so happened. Don't cross the gun line. Right? <laughs> you got a lot of <laughs> Oh, this motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, it was just so happened. You got a lot of hair. Yeah, man. We don't want to keep it going. You know, because you got to uh, talk to me. It, it, was, it was just so happened, bro. Okay. I was um in D-Dom in Rivers. All right. And um, I seen Mac on the hall, and he was cutting hair. He used to cut hair and shit. Mm -hmm. And what made me got his attention more... It's when I went in Sea Dorm. And when I went in Sea Dorm, that was my first time in that bitch. And um, they had these dudes in the back. One of them name was Big Foots. I don't know if you heard of him. Big Foots from Baton Rouge. And um, he's a big, huge dude. He almost looked like an NFL Big Foot linebacker or some shit. And um, what it made me got attached to Mac and go to Mac, when I looked in the corner and I seen Foot slap the fuck out of a dude and spin him around and the dude laid on the ground. And from there, I was at the, the key filling out request forms to get the fuck off this line because I knew in my mind that wasn't a place for me. Okay. So what had happened was one night, they was bringing in some food. And um, the trustees bring the foods to you in, the, in that bitch. They was bringing some food to the trade, and everybody on the trade was getting our food and shit like that. 
I'm on, my cellar was an old head. He was an old head, and he ain't never too much talk, but that bitch was slick side as a motherfucker because of the shit he did. So what had happened was they bought our food and everything that we sent to the table. A dude named from Sherwood named A1. And um, I was getting ready to eat. And all of a sudden, the dude came side, right down the side of me, real shit. But I can't fight. I'm telling you I can't. For the love of God, I can't be honest. So you don't need me to try to punch you in your shit. And knowing I'm about to get my ass whooped. Not really, because sometimes when you slap a person, they're going to be shocked first. Yeah. Right. Now, by the time you get to me, you got to hold him and hope the guard will come break y'all up. Man, I don't know where the guards was in the parish. <laughs> so you saying, see, that's the thing about it. Them bitches there, but they're not there. And they wasn't never there to help me. Look like the only time I get help when they open up the gates. But look like they let the nigga out with me to come out on the hall after we get through whooping, get my ass whooped. Did he fight you again out there in the hall? So he stayed jumping on you. Back were, you, to the, were you swinging back? I always swung back, but I just don't think the licks hit him. It's almost like it was hitting so me. you had your head down with Yeah, him? yeah. I mean, it wasn't like that, but it was like, you know. You did, yeah, you duck city, yeah. See, like I say. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when me, so after I started filling out the crest, the dude, the dude came on side of me and he was getting, was getting ready to eat. So the dude sitting on standing behind me and another dude on side of me and I'm getting ready to eat. So I'm not knowing about the shit, how the rules is up the road. You know what I'm saying? It's like everything completely changed. So here it is. I'm getting ready to eat. A dude took my fork, which they call a spark. What you call it, a spark? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he took that bitch, and he said that only mean one thing. So I'm looking at him, what the fuck it mean? He said, nigga slide my plate over. So as he slide my plate over, he said, don't say shit till he finished. Till he fucking finished. Based on true story. Don't say shit till he finished. So I'm sitting at the table watching nigga eat my shit. Then the nigga gonna tell me to get up and let's go catch the bat. Now the bat, I went to the back and they got a circle. And this is how raw it is. They, they got music to go with the ass whoopings you get. Yo. You know what I'm saying? They got certain special songs. Real shit. And I'm, and I'm in the back and I'm liking the rap music. And I'm bobbing my head to the shit the nigga pointed to me. So as he pointed to me, I'm not knowing he really pointed me to fight him. So, I swear to God, based on true story, the dude grabbed me one time and he put me in the chokehold. I got out the chokehold, I ran to the key, and I told him I can't live. And after doing that, day, I swear to God on my daddy's grave, I seen Mac walking up and down the hall again. And he'll tell you, I, I begged him. I don't know what he saw in me or what made him just say, come on. That's how much power this dude had up there. So he took my request for him and took it to the dude. The dude came and pulled me out. But as he was pulling me out, the other dudes was trying to hold me back in the fucking car. You ain't going nowhere. Man, real shit. I don't know if they thought I was about to be their bitch or something like that, but it wasn't going. I mean, I was so glad yeah, that Mac. good looking, so I wonder what, what it was. I ain't good looking. <laughs> I'm the hottest thing on the market right okay, now, baby. Okay. okay. <laughs> Long as I ain't in that bitch there, I don't want to be hot in there. But I think the thing everybody want to know, like, why? Like, I think gangsters are like this person, too. Like, why? why? Why was they... With you, like, why they keep like, talking to you? Yeah. See, it, it, yeah, if, if you you really got to be in that bitch to understand it. No, 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 I grew up in prison. I know about you. No. I'm saying it's just a certain type of person. I write like going to constantly go at. Yeah. Yeah. So, For example, like me. I, I mean, I got money artists coming in. Okay. I'm not fucking with nobody. But, you know, I'm a quiet person. And, and, and from... Sometimes quiet people don't get fucked with it. Sometimes they do get fucked with it. Right. But you never know when it's your turn. So hold on, hold on. Why you ain't not tell us about the Mac story? Cause you, cause you oh, know. yeah, yeah. I didn't know y'all. All right, yeah. so after, after um, I um, got my things get ready to get out the, um, the dorm, like I said, the dudes were still at the fucking key, and the guard is in the motherfucking thing looking at him holding my shit. I can't get my mattress or my, my bag. The guard ain't telling them shit. I swear to God, when Mac opened up that door, he had the lieutenant on side of him. And, and he was calling my name, telling me to come on. I'm trying to slick side, let him know these niggas got my shit. So Mac walked in that bitch. I, I, I wish I could call him. Mac walked in that bitch, and he said, you got to learn how to fight. He gave me a name called Liz Scrappy. He said, you got to learn how to fight, Liz Scrappy. And I told him, as long as you here with, here with me, I should never have to know how to fight. Real <laughs> shit. Because I felt like he was my savior. He, man, that was the only time I really felt my life really, really threatened. Because I moved from the parish, and up in these dudes was bigger. And I might have been the smallest motherfucker thing around it. And when you around some motherfuckers like that, then you bound to be intimidated. And when a motherfucker slapped you one time, 
You know what that shit mean? But I, when I seen him slap him, I thought about me. That and when I, you. yeah, it could have been. And, 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 and that, that scared me. And it scared me so much. I'm telling you, my first note was the request for him to get the fuck out of there. So did you get your stuff? Did Matt get your stuff? No, Matt got my shit. He Matt got, got my shit while the lieutenant was right there. I ain't go back in that bitch. Matt got your stuff? Yeah. And you went in the dorm with Matt? We went in a trustee dorm. I went in a trustee. My first time up the road in a trustee. I got on a road crew. And when, at bullshit or not, I slept at the top and he slept at the bottom. So you was good. You was yeah, You people. fucking right because in they trustee. Now, hold up. Now, when you got out, did you send Max something when you got out? Ask him, did I send him? Max, you can fight right now. You ain't send him homeboy something? We about to fight right Look, now. Look, I ain't got no fucking money, but I sent him a lot of letters. Oh, okay. I sent him a, I sent him a lot of letters. And, and why you gonna fucking fight, man? I just told you I lost 180 something I'm fucking gonna, fight. I'm gonna get me a win now. You gonna, gonna get say, you a yeah, win on camera? Yeah, on camera. I won't get no uh, No lemon motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he, he, he really did. And, and bro, do you try to reach out to him on social media now? I thank him. Hey, not only did I do it, I went on live with him one time. He was on, um, he was doing talking about playing the pianos and some shit. Mm -hmm. And he went on live and he was just talking to people. And when he responded back to me, it felt good. And I sent him thumbs up and I told him thank you for everything he done for me. And I told him, I said, whenever you get a chance to get me, hit me, because I felt like he really did help me, bro. That's good. And just, just the word, but. Before even when Matt came in the pictures, I was getting blues. And I was Man. getting blues everywhere. How much time you did? I did seven years. Man. I did seven years. I went to Hunts. And, and when, when I went to Hunts, I went to Hunts, I learned something. I learned Bieber ain't for everybody. Bieber block. That's a cell block. Yeah. I learned Bieber. When I went through Hunts in 95, the block, cell block, B, one of them blocks was closed, so they put us in Fox. Fox F. <laughs> so I was, in, I was in an open dorm where you could walk over to the commissary and everything. And they got the beds all in the middle. Of the thing. Yeah. No, 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 no. Bed was against the wall and against each wall, and you go up this, and it's right. the back to the back. All right. You can see that we just, where we, where my dorm was, I could see outside, and I could hit them boys early morning at the, 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 the uh, boot camp. Oh, I'm going out there and oh, running and jogging and, and, and shit. Yeah. Push ups and shit. I, I got a chance. I was even much on the um, garden crew. We was out there. Okay. And um, I didn't know. Like, when it's time to go to work, you really supposed to go to work. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that. So they had a dude that was in the cell with me, and it was like, you go get your bitch ass up and go to work? That's what he tell you. Real shit. That's what he told me. Say, bro, Whoa. for the love of God, I'm, I, I, call, I call my mom and my, and I'm not trying to look bad, bro. I got to tell y'all the truth to get this shit out the air. Hey, for the love on. of God, I call my mom and daddy many times to try to ask me. To get me out of these places, bro. You know, get me moved to a better place. But that shit don't work like that. But it's, 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 it's the intimidation. It was the fear that they pumped in me. Because I watched plenty of movies and the movies scared me. Like, when I'm, I'm from New Rose, we got a jail. We ain't got no prison prison. You know what I'm saying? And when I used to hear a motherfucker talk about Baton Rouge, they say, you going to prison. So in my mind, I'm thinking I'm going to Angola prison prison. And it scared me. And when I got in that bitch, I was already pumped with fear. And what feared me out the most when you were in the fucking central booking and you see the niggas getting their ass whooped in front of the guards and shit, that scared me. And that shit carried with me all the way through all the time I went through. Every time I got in the fight, it was like you got to hold your head up because if you hold that bitch down, then it's, you know what I'm saying, right. something. I learned that. And I ain't give a fuck. I, I, my teeth was missing. My, you know what I'm saying? I had black ties. My shit was wired up one time. I couldn't go to business. But they did that to me. And I felt like I was just like a target. And, bro, over the years, it got better, but the fights still kept going on. How long have you been out now? Man, I've been out since 2012. That's a long time. So you ain't, and you ain't never come back. For what? That's a scary straight. Let me tell you my main goal, bro. If anybody doing wrong around me, I hate to see a motherfucker tell on himself. You know what I'm saying? So I suggest I'm not going back for nobody. Yeah. Like, nearly asking would I go back for a million dollars, would you? How long? <laughs> would you? I might. I might. How long? <laughs> two years. Two years. You'll go back for a million dollars for two years? Yeah, give me that million. Fuck no. I'll never go back.
I'm I don't give a fuck. Man. You give me the cash to go in that bitch. I'm, I'm not going, going back. Yeah, I'm going later. Man, later. I went through some shit. Well, let me so Cause you guys hit me to you where I gotta go to feds or the state. No, you going where I was at state. Say okay, well give me the two million. Give me the million. I'm going. Shit. Two years down. Go get that million, man. But here's the thing: Do I gotta do two flat or do I do? No, do you doing day? No, ain't no fucking good time. You doing like feds day for day? I want you to enjoy. I want you to enjoy. What you doing? For the meal. For the meal. What you? I gotta pay no tax on the meal. Man, I mean, on tax, they looking for the ass or something like that. But you, about, you only give you a million dollars, you gotta pay taxes on it. No, you might not have to pay. I mean, you give me, I take that. Shit. What's the worst yeah, thing you ever went I, through? And I, I, I was I've up. never had nothing bad. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm tripping out about you. You never you. had nothing bad. You know, never. You'd have been all I, I just find, hey, man, it's like when I hear them stories like that, it makes it hard to actually believe when I saw certain shit. You but know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You saw stuff happen to you. No, I seen some happen. A lot of motherfuckers. I see. I seen a lot happen. See, that's when the relief came out to me when I started seeing well, this shit happen to other niggas. How old are you now? I'm 46. Okay, so we around the same age. So have you ever been to LTI? Uh, I, I, I didn't. Man, my first day ever was going in the parish prison. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. All of us from Louisiana, we're going to go to LTI as our juvenile prison. Right. So when you go to LTI up there in Baker, Louisiana, some people thought it was Baton Rouge. That's it's right there, Baker by the state. Right. You learned how to fight there. That was our baby ain't going right, right there. Right, yeah, yeah. That was you a, learned how to run with yeah, right. them. My big homeboy was one of the best fighters up there. So, I, you know, I, bro, I'm, I just, I'm just trying to, even doing my state See, bid, I never seen nobody get beat up every It's like state when I came up, bro, my, 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 my mom and dad, I really, I was like under their wings. I never, now that some people get out the poach early, I never had that chance because my mama was, you know, was real strict on me. And like a lot of shit was kept from me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never, like I said, I ain't never had to, I ain't never had to fight. But, but Aiden was more, so, he said he'd been locked up seven years, but all the ass whippings and stuff was that first year just in Baton Rouge, Paris. Just by itself. And you wasn't from Baton Rouge. Yeah. So, okay, so, so you think, let's say like when you was in uh, New Orleans, Paris, so mm -hmm. if someone would have came from, um, let's just say Baton Rouge to Orleans, Paris, and Everybody, so basically everybody in Orleans Parish, you'd have, you'd have had the Magnolia crew or the Seven Wall here, there, whoop de whoop. Right. So if somebody was just an outsider from Baton Rouge, you think they'd have got that same treatment no, in, well, in New Orleans Parish? Not when I was going through the parish. Because yeah. cause actually, when I got, we, we're not going to count the feds because there was a guy from Alabama on the, in the on right, one dude from Arkansas. But in our state jail, in our state, or not jail, our parish jail, with people called County, you know, Louisiana one was Paris. Um, we was so busy beefing with one another, like in right. for the block, so yeah. like, oh, when I catch you. So well, we don't care, we didn't care where you were from right. or what you had going on, you know. Well, the thing that dudes paid attention to was raping little children and women. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? But other than that, you could be from Baton Rouge, you could be from Timbuk too, because here's the thing, we need to hook up so we get out. Put me on the lick. I'm trying to come out there and rob something. Right, right. You know right. So dude was politic like that, but back then we was so busy warning and beefing with one another. We ain't had time to worry about, oh, you from here, jump on him, beat him up, run him off the tier. Right. We ain't had time for that back then. Right. But I would say this, though, bro. I know from juvenile jail when dudes bust windows who are who are like 18, 19 years old, they're sitting in the back of jail. Mm -hmm. Keller Stone, my homie Big Lou, he just died. Mm -hmm. A lot of them that went to that jail, a lot of them, all of them went through fights. Mm -hmm. All of them. They did tell us the same. They come back. Man, them boy and Barry, they jumping this boy because we used to take over the juvenile mm -hmm. jail, New Orleans. So right. they'll get us back when we go to the yeah. adult, do they go to the adult pair. I never because I was still was a juvenile. Right. But, bro, to witness somebody get beat up every day, bro, what you ought to think for, be thankful for, all we don't know if you're not telling us everything, you ain't lose your manhood. Because if you kind of get beat up every day like this, somebody going to want to hump you, bro. I, I, and, hey, bro. I see. Like you that, that's the thing. That's you want to pull see, the ocean right now? What? See that, that. See that's the number one thing, bro. If anybody that saw me, know me in there from this day, would tell you that, never, it never hit me like that. It never came to me like that. And I thank God because I seen some shit that I said could have been me. You know what I'm saying? I seen the shit when the sheets hanging over the fucking bed. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not knowing what the fuck going on. It's my first time. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, and I, it's to be honest with you. It's to be honest with you. Whether you fucking believe it or not, I got to tell you the truth. It never happened. And I thank God. Were you prepared for it to happen, though? 
I don't know how you would prepare for some you shit say, like you that. Say you, early, I, you say, look, no, look, look, look. no, no, don't change the words in my fucking mouth. Look, I, look, I, look. No, no. I never, I never <laughs> was prepared said, for none of that shit. You, there. Say. you said one time I thought about losing my manhood. Because of the, the now situation. You don't change the words. But, 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 but check this what out. You just said. But say fuck all that. Oh, no, you don't. No. No. What, I'm what? keeping it real and I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Well, we actually this that you said one time I thought about losing my man. Well, you, you did not say that. I never lost you it and I that never thing? have lost it. All right, all right, we right. well, understand. But did you? But say let me ask you a question. Man, see, that's the problem. Way. No, because see, that's the <laughs> see, see, that's what the shit get off tall and shit. Ask the question with the question, bro. Did you say at one time I thought I was about to lose my manhood? Yeah, I thought I was. Okay, so now why you just say don't put words in my mouth, but you say that? I'm telling you, don't put words in my mouth. Saying I have it happened to me. I never say that it happened. I no, what? Say what you, what, what you said. What you, how you could prepare for somebody to get your head? You ever been prepared for somebody to get your head? I know. How you prepared? I mean, would you stand up, bend over, or what? How do you well, fucking prepare? It's this here. How you say, and one time I thought they were going to take my manhood. So now. In my Actually, mind, hold up, hold up. I see what you're saying. Hold up, and your mind is like, you know what? I know it's going to happen one day. So let me just pick the man I want. Or let me pick the. <laughs> no, fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> you dirty motherfucker. No, let me show you so you can understand what I'm saying. Hey, talk to me. Let me show you what I, what I say. I'm saying it like this here. Mm -hmm. I got my ass whooped so bad mm -hmm. that I saw it, it actually happening in my mind. What? Something bad happened to me getting raped or anything. So, I, so, so. I saw this. It's like. For a I man to picture something like that in their mind, they nah, prepare man. for that. Prepare? No, no. <laughs> the fuck? Kill this shit? <laughs> I hate this shit. Fuck that. Have you ever prepared yourself for a, a fucking dick to go up your ass? <laughs> see, I can't, see, 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 my thing is, I can't, I, I, it's hard for me. To make a person understand, no, no, no. Because people get people, people, bro. people get off, people get off the thing, and that's how people get fucked up in some <laughs> shit. See, because you, I have to tell you the truth. We See, I can't that. tell you the shit to make you don't wanna go there. I, I gotta tell you, this, I gotta, I can't tell you the shit to make you wanna go there. I've been in so many fights. I, I've been scut, black guy. I'm like I say, but it's never. I seen my life. If I'd have had to do two, three more years and all that bitch there, in hunts or anywhere, I don't know what the outcome, I can't say that, but I know today I haven't been tampered or touched with. Never. Today. Today, from this, from the time I went into the time. Wow, I hate the fuck out you, boy. <laughs> man, let me make my collect call, bro. Collect call, East Man. Oh, give me that. <laughs> give me <laughs> my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, but, 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 but that is a big question. Cause it is. If, but if, see, if you're telling somebody you got your ass with that many times and you're in prison like that, that I mean, it's a big chance yeah. that you'll get your ass. You're gonna be All right. Up. You're gonna but have, check you're gonna this out. It. You ain't never put your hand about the back pocket. Walk Fuck no. All right. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> you low down, motherfucker. <laughs> but see, Talk to us. I don't really, like, when you're keeping it real, it's like yeah. it's, it's hard for people to really believe you. No, it ain't. Because some people, we believe they you. only go in thinking of, you know, the obvious is the worst. But I feel for my life many times. I'm telling you, I don't know how to. I never been introduced to that shit till I was 19 years old, bro. And I never seen that shit. I didn't know how to act. I didn't know who to be around. I didn't know who to hang around. I didn't know who to trust, who not to trust, because the motherfuckers you think that's not your friend. He wasn't your friend the whole time. He was just there getting your cigarettes right. and your snacks and your zoos and the collect cops. I had to do all that shit. But I did that shit bro, to keep me you, safe, bro. Did you ever experience this? Like, you know how dudes get the Bible? Hear me out. A fake ass. That's a fake no, ass way to keep them off your ass and they still no, whoop your ass. Let me finish what I want to say, Run it. bro. You know them old times, they get the Bible. Right. They lay in the bed. Come in. You sit, sit right on here. While they land in the bed, reading the word, and you sit. It would look like a story time to you. Fuck. It would look like a story time to you. Fuck, no, I ain't let nobody read no scriptures to me on their fucking bed. Do not trust nobody. Else. Put trust in no man. That's the first thing I learned. Fuck. Man, the Now you just say you put trust in Mac. Yeah, because, man, Mac, now, I when I see know. Mac, bro, it's like I seen a visual of a savior. Real shit. Okay. And you know what made me realize that he was my savior when he got me out that motherfucker. Got and, and and 
And like you said, he taught me scrapping. You got to learn how to fight. Did but you I'm, learn? Did you take your time to try to... Let somebody try to whip my ass now. You ready to get him? <laughs> no, I'm going to shoot him. Oh. I can't fight. I told you that shit. I can't... But now you take a check on my jail, bro. No. Before I go back to that bitch, <laughs> what that dude did off that bridge, he jumped off that bitch with five days. <laughs> man, I'm not going back to no fucking... Man. If, man, look. Man, I'm telling you. Pee Wee said if somebody slap his mama, he ain't going back. Yeah. He said he going to call right, right. I'm going to call 911. What the fuck well, they from? I understand. Yeah, what the fuck? Let me show you how Big Head was, for example. Big Head was my cellar, right? And, um... I remember the night he beat, you know what I'm saying, drumming and all this shit like that. And I remember when a dude came in and he hollered, try these bitches on. And I actually thought he was talking to Big Head. But it's my first time on the line. I just got in the fucking cell with Big Head. And he was talking to me. And I'm like, was this a setup or some shit like this here so they could get my shit? And I looked at Big Head like I looked at Mac, but Big Head didn't save me. He didn't help me. You know what I'm saying? I'm braiding your fucking hair, telling you your music good and shit like this, and this is how you react to me? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, they fucking dogs in that Paris. What the dude meant when he said he tried to go? Huh? What the dude meant when he told you that? Shit, shit. When I seen shoes throw at me, I threw them bitches at me, because I know what time it is. It's time to go to war. And when I used to hear a motherfucker say wreck call, my first time hearing it, I thought it was a wreck, because I thought you could see outside the window. So I ain't realized a nigga about to pat me in my fucking chest. Try these bitches on. I, you know what I'm saying? I learned from that shit. Like Try I said. Was the dude bigger than you, small? Every nigga ain't that bitch was bigger than me. They might have had one dude that wasn't bigger than me, but I think he was working for the Paris. Mm. <laughs> Real shit. That's just like when, um. I, hey, bro. I don't know. Hey, bro. I don't really know how a nigga really supposed to carry himself in jail. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's, people say it's rules and shit. I don't think there's no, you know what I'm saying? No rules. Because everybody is fucking different. No, it, there are rules, you know, but the rules only apply to the cliques. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have their rules, but when you come in, they're going to make the rules or break the rules with you. You know, if not just you, I'm talking about, you know, for right. people who not in jail. So why you just have to use me in the fucking city? Because you've been in jail, had a rough time, so I got to let you understand. You know, we got to use you for the, for the, for the children. You gotta you fucking use, use me for the children. Use, fuck them kids. Use, fuck them kids, man. Fucking where them kids were when I was getting my ass whooped. There was little babies. <laughs> but now they old and now they know, okay, well, if he went through that, I don't want to do Let that. me ask you a question, though. Talk to me. All right. You say you never experienced nothing bad. Was it because of your status or who you was or people you know? I mean, because, like I say, I didn't, like, I'm, I'm coming from a town that, you know what I'm saying, nobody knows. Like you said, I did hear you say Baton Rouge. Job people, you know what I'm saying? They, I don't care if it's just different. It's, it, they just different, bro. Like I know about OPP, and I know about a lot of other places, and I know how they act. But they don't act like them bitches. They, it's, it's, it was a different experience. It was the experience that made me, damn, it almost made me rich from telling the story. Now, you know now, what I'm saying? Let, now, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Um, me coming to going to the Paris OPP, I went there with my reputation from the streets. Now, I had one homeboy who was kind of tall. I had, we, we used to get the commissary slip. We used to play on um, writing, all kind of stuff where you slip. You know, your food, your, your, your commissary would come in the plastic already sealed. Yeah. So it was ever in there. If you didn't order it, you got to send the whole thing back. Right. So I had, at the time, they had the women's stuff on our commissary, so I ordered Dush on his thing. So when his thing You ordered what? The, you know, the, with the women cleaning himself. You ordered shit on the his, Right. So everybody <laughs> laughing at him. He saw, so he want to fight me. But he on this side of the door, on, on this side, on B1. We on B1, he on, on the left Bar side, fighting. on the right side, right. But I was selling across from each other, but he kind of talked. I know him from the streets. Right. So he like, man, we go to Ricky, or we go, I'm going to beat you up. I got to go out there because my reputation on the line, right? Right. But I don't want to fight this guy. But I have to go out. So before the, the day before we go out, I, I, I was like, his name was Renoa. I said, Renoa, come here. Man, what you want? Oh, you cussing. I'm like, man, come to the ball. And I was like, because I know he loves his little brother. And I'm only in there for a little short time, so I'm waiting for the city to set my murder case. All right. I said, bro, come here. He's like, man, what? I said, look, check this out. I say, tomorrow when I go, yeah, and I'm going to beat you. I said, calm down, listen. I'm going outside. And when I go outside, if you put your hands on me, when I go home, I'm kill your little brother. Why you got to put my brother? I said, man, listen, I'm going outside. When I go outside tomorrow, you put your hands on me, I'm going to kill your little brother. 
and I ain't have never had no more problems. See, see, that's another part. And see I how you heard, see what well, Gangster just said. I heard some other guys from all this. See how you just said that? that just I never was able to fill out my stow sheet until I got to another place. Because I'm just saying, if I was all see, your status says a lot for you. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can come from the yeah, street as a yeah. kingpin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your name, you know, well, in the parish, that shit don't no, fucking work. No, let me show you why. Because in, in, in OPP parish, even though your name carry on the street, they still want to see you can fight. Because I didn't have a few fights in jail, but there are clicks in there. And if certain tears you go on, they're going to send word, oh, catch him out there, beat him up, flush him out, whatever, that's that going to happen. But if you can fight, you're going to, eventually you're going to run around your homeboys, around the somebody somebody right. like, man, leave that man on. It started to get it eventually started over the years. It started getting, you know what I'm saying. Or because you, you did you know how to read and write in there? Yeah. All right, no, because I was thinking because it didn't matter. Put a sign on your back, like they beat him. Like this, this crash dummy right here. <laughs> May have. Come, calm down, bro. We, like, don't, we got a gun. We got. Oh, I say, man, calm down. Give me, I'm gonna give me a smoke too, bro. I ain't smoking. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hold up. So, gig. Talk to me. If let's say if you in it. You in the cell, you in the situation. But I know you're a big dog, you had money all that all the time you was in jail. You had money too? Let's, let's just you had that. money too? See what the fuck I'm saying? I ain't had that shit. But I had food stamps, EBT. I got but, that card too. But shit. let's just say, giggity, you didn't have no money. You know what I'm saying? You're doing bad. Uh -huh. Pee Wee, your celly. Pee Wee got the reputation he got, losing all these fights. And, you know Why you I, gotta ask that fucking question? But, 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 See what I'm saying? Well, I gotta be the fuck. Let me the hat, man. So I put my hat on. I, I, I gotta reverse question. <laughs> Go on, hold on. So, Pee Wee, you're selling. Mm -hmm. So, you ain't got no money, no nothing. But you still the gangster you was and all that. Okay, but and I'm broke in jail. Club. Yeah, and Pee Wee got all the zoos, all the everything coming so in. So, what you about to say? You about to take and, my and, shit? And he don't want to give you nothing. What you, what you, what you doing in that, in, in, in that situation? At that time. Oh, that was at that time. I was never the one who wanted to, to, to rob or jack someone. Okay. I always yeah. been small and skinny myself, so I'm not about to bully you to take your stuff. But what's going to happen is this. You're going to send somebody out. Yeah, I'm going to let the wolves get you. See what I'm fucking saying? You ain't feeling it. It's, 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 it's you motherfuckers see, like this that made it bad no, on me, bro. No, me I still get some tears because I still be crying and having nightmares from people like him. Let me tell you what I'm going to cry. Because you see I'm in here starving. You see I got status, but I'm just down bad in here. And you won't share with me, but you want me to protect you. See, he me. down bad because I would share with you. The man just said no. He just give a scenario you, you don't. Don't put that we shit there. I'm telling me if I was. <laughs> Bro, no, no. Because you know if you is, nobody's not going to come and violate that, that right. space. Hey, but, but if you're not, I'm going to be like, man, man, look, y'all, when I go to the front of the day, y'all go ahead and get at him. Give me something, too. <laughs> right, right. But he ain't feed me. Right. But you living in my... But you saying it like that's, that's what really happened to me. So what you had something to do with that shit? Yeah, I said word because I ain't heard you was going. Because you know, Luke was right behind the 17th wall. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? You signed me up for this fucking interview, huh? Yeah, man, he already knew what he was. What, the camera's still the on? <laughs> that's right. Ain't no cuts, bro. Fuck. We don't do no cuts, bro. We going to put all this shit on the... Yeah, that's right. Ain't no edit nothing, bro. We got, the people want to see the start rolling up cut, bro. Jesus, let me give me a drink then. Drink it up. Get you some of the That's another guy I want to know. This, this is what I want to know. How do I eat? No, no, no. Now, you got you something to Right. Nitty. Ain't nobody got this you is, nothing. That's what I'm trying to figure that out. Hey, you want some? No, it is. <laughs> what the world? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate see, that. See, we got you, man. But look, hey, I man, wanted hey, to. Man, nah, nah, for, for real, Russia. Right, <laughs> Mother Cameron to eat all day, but I, I planned on having a big box of Popeyes. And we love had Popeyes. to stop every fucking one of these fucking with him. We stopped so many times. My plan was to have some Popeyes to get Oh, man. But hey, next listen. time, man. Now, guess what? Right before I came here, uh -huh. I just recorded myself okay. making a prison nacho. Okay. A prison nacho? Yeah. Run it to me. Remember, we were supposed to do yeah, that. Yeah, run it. See, because I, I still make the molars. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just told the people on my channel, I'm going to make molars next. We got to do it. cook yeah. off you want to do something. We fucking me. right. I can make the chocolate chip yeah, or whatever you want. I don't care what you can that. make. You try to see me on making the moldy, we going to get Let's it. Let's battle. Let's say we setting it up right now near the TV. Gangsta go through the uh, uh, let, me, let me ask you something, though. I mean, from all real bushing aside, mm -hmm. I mean, I just be having to know. So what was it kept you from going through so much shit? I mean, what, I mean, like I said, I got to know what, what made you so fucking special. Well, nigga ain't had to fuck with you. 
Well, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I know you the shit and shit like that's that. Right there, stop right there. Here's the thing. Because if you beat me up in jail when I catch you on the street or one of your people on the street, I'm going to flush them. So what you saying? I should have learned how to fight on the street? They no, went no, to no, jail? no. You should have how to work that tool on the street. If you had a reputation on the street for slinging that gun, when you come to the prep, then you might still get beat up a little something. Slinging a gun? So I get life? Yeah. I'm going to slang that gun. I'll go now. See I go for that million dollars if I could be wrong. Maybe gangsta. I'm gonna throw you something. Fuck right. a couple of zoos yeah, and shit. No. You let him hang around you. Yeah, because because he like, he's he right? he like a funny guy. So yeah, yeah. I don't mind. See, here's my thing. Like I say, I wasn't a bully. Right. I, I just I find that hard to believe the way you're talking to me and the shit talking about you with no fucking bullet. That's on camera. I'm in that step. Are you in here? That's that's me now. I'm on. All right, so I did want to fight. Yeah, you go. Just die. Well, we tired right now. <laughs> we still running right now. <laughs> so, Pee Wee. Oh, oh, yes. No, go ahead, go ahead. So, like I said, if y'all was sellers, I'll ask him my take and stuff. You see what? So, if y'all was sellers on the same thing. So, let's say if Gangster was making a hooch in the cell and, 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 and the guards would have ran in there trying to get you to charge, what you would have did? What I always tell you. I just told you that earlier, right? <laughs> I hate to see a motherfucker tell on himself. <laughs> Because if he don't tell the truth, I have to tell him. Do that make me a snitch for telling the truth? <laughs> then I'm a snitch. <laughs> I'm just keeping it fucking real. We both can't go through to do no fucking hole or nothing like that. I'm not, you know, I'm just fucking sad. I wasn't doing it. Now let me say something. But I would, I'm going to let them do their job and I'm going to give you enough time to figure out do you want to tell the people. You're going to be 21. Whatever the fuck you want to be. See, this is what they say to Fed. Man, you better be 21. So, you better, so here's the thing, though. If they find something to sell... <laughs> Both of us go to hold anyway. Right. Wow. Now, I have a chance to free you. What the fuck you mean start? you got a chance to free me? You the one doing the no, motherfucker. They're not going to lock both of us up right there. No, they're not. Yeah, that's how you do the <laughs> same, bro. I don't care how much you get the hoop. That's it. You go into the hole first. Until now, they figure out what's going Then once, you, once they bring that shot. sound like my fucking listen, judge. Guilty to innocent. What's going to happen? No, because they found a tenant shank in my cell, right? Mm -hmm. So they wrote me up and broke my celly up. So when the lieutenant come to my thing, you got the thing you want to say? I say, yeah, that was my weapon. That wasn't his. Let me ask you another question. But hold up. So when he was, when we go to DHO, they released him. I mean, before we went there, they released him. But he going to go that hole for that day or two or three without. All right. I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just going to establish something. Right. Talk to him. If a motherfucker won all them fights and shit like that, why the fuck do they be carrying shanks and shit that fucking? Because a person like to make a, send a sense. message. Everybody, because he gives the thing. What was what? I was a message? Yeah. Here's the thing. A person look at it as hell. Now, me, you get into a fight, right? And I might get out on you. You might get out on me. Whatever case may be. But it's always going to be somebody going to feel like, well, he had a fight with him, but I, mean, I could whoop him. It's always going to feel like somebody that's how, me, I right? think that's how they did me. Right. But now, when the person with that knife, they're looking at it like, man, he's going to kill me. Or he might butcher me up, so I'm going to stay away from him. But what if I weapon. tell you I had one and I put that bitch down? I can believe you look like one of the ones that was a holster. You know what a holster is? The host is this. So when you come on the titty, like that, that's what boy would be beating up on all the tears. So you know what? come here. Look, bro, I'm gonna make sure you're good. You're gonna be hanging all right, boy. I'm gonna hang them hanging out, right? Right. I'm gonna bring about 10 nine. Look, put this up and you see a whole list. Huh? That's the juvenile man, huh? So this is gonna be the problem. <laughs> or you're gonna get up out of here now because here's the thing. We protecting you. Ain't nobody gonna beat you up. Nobody gonna, you gonna eat your food, you gonna eat all that, but you gotta hold it now. Alright, so what the fucking God come catch me with all that shit? Well then go to the hole, then if you make it when you come back to the The table, fuck you mean go, go to the hole for holding your shit? We protecting you. Protecting me from going to the Fuck no! You, bro, you you eat you can listen, listen, listen. I can nobody eat Nobody gonna beat you up no more, you're gonna eat your food, bro. Well where you was when I needed to? You over, I was over here. Now you came over here by me. I'm make sure you good though, homie. This boy is still eating. Oh, you're Hey, I, I really get You're it. Young, sir. How but, old are you? It's a pizza. Thirty four. Thirty four. Motherfucker head bigger than that box. <laughs> now y'all got swine on that. I, I got swine hey, on the seats. Oh yeah. Hey, but on my feet. I, I, I really, I, I, people don't. It's hard to make a person understand. I didn't, I didn't do it a lot. I'm telling you, I didn't do it so much. Now it's almost like when I come, I'm home now. I don't really like being around too many. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like I have, I, I get. I flash out sometimes. I don't, I don't be paying attention. I have, man, I have dreams sometimes. It's like, I feel like sometimes in my house, I'm living with the warden. Wow. My wife, real shit. I feel like I'm living, because it's, I don't believe in institutionalized, but I believe 
if I get up in the morning, I gotta have some shit to do. Somebody like. Do you bring a shank to the shower? To the bathroom? You go take a shower? Shit, take a shower? no. But I look for the deputies. Okay. I look for the guard. I look. For, hey, bro. Once you go to wall, once you go big group, do you write a list out for commissary list? I do. I do. It's, it's like, even it's like if I get up, when I get up, it's like I feel like I gotta have somebody tell me. You know, not on purpose, it's like tell me what to do. I feel like my day don't get started until, I don't know how to label that or shit like that. Up until this day, that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I do know sometimes I get irritated. You know what I'm saying? I get irritated, even much like when I tell my stories. I get irritated by some of the questions that they ask, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's shit like that. Because I don't want people to paint no picture or get the wrong idea about no shit. Why? Because I feel like if you, if you ask me a question, I don't have to lie to you about shit. Because my first story told it all. I was, it's like when you being honest with your shit, motherfuckers really don't want that. It's like they want you to fabricate shit and shit like that. But I feel like I just got to be myself. And if I tell you the truth, man, it's... It's not hard for me to sit there and tell another man, she better not fucking call me on this. It's not hard to tell nobody that I've been, you know, I could tell everybody I've been beat up many times. And I'd have been cut and I had my shit fucking sold up. But to me, it's always the God. That's a good thing. That, that's being said, it's always was the God look like coming in at the right time or some shit. Even much at night when the night counts. I don't know if you know what that means. Like when you're coming in at night, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers playing some game, penitentiary games, and seeing right. if you gonna fall for this shit or shit like did that. Ever, did anybody ever put the snicker on the can? No, on the they pillow? put they put the Twix on your pillow. Oh, on the fucking on, on the, the bed, bed, on the bed. You ate it? No, I got scared because I thought somebody was trying to set me up. You know, back then when they was in the dungeon, you know, motherfuckers steal shit and put it under your shit to give you the charge and shit like that. That's the type of games they play. What you do with that candy? What I did, the candy, I left it right there at the bed. Well, you had to go to sleep. At no, I checked out. Time. I knew what that shit meant. <laughs> got up out of there. And I just got up out there, ran up out there. Real shit. Say, so you've been in the dungeon, right? You, you, you see how the dungeon look different from the other prison? Yeah. It ain't no help in that motherfucker. Right. The guards right here, the, 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 the cells across the street. You fighting for your life and don't know how to fight is a bad thing in that motherfucker. Real shit. Because dudes crowd you. Right. And they crowd you much when you losing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's real. So you've been crowded too? Many times. How many, many times. What the moves you got jumped Four. 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 Oh, and that was like motherfuckers coming in out the cell. A two-man cell. M and N. Motherfuckers coming in that bitch. It was not just me fighting. It was fighting my cellar too for some strange reason. I guess because he was my cellar. But. Was he fighting back? I couldn't tell because my head was down. I ain't lying. I couldn't fucking tell. I didn't see. At the I, end, what, what, did, what did he say at the end? I didn't look up till I got outside the gate. <laughs> outside the gate. I didn't look up, and I'm not going to lie to you. Man, like I say, it's a different being pussy and knowing you pussy. I was pussy. Back. I wasn't necessarily pussy, but I wasn't no fighter. So, Gig, how, how, how do you think he would have survived in the feds? Well, see, he would have been good because in the feds, we take care of our own. Right. We're not going to let no outside nobody violate because that'll make our call of you. Because I feel like a lot of motherfuckers you got to say. You don't have the system over here. You actually been booked from jail to jail. Tear to tear. All you know what I'm saying? We just waiting on it. On that. On for the free Johnson story. You should be waiting on that motherfucker. You can keep waiting on it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but my this best you made it out right That was right. my best feeling. My best feeling was that I never had to look back. My best feeling was when I walked out of the house and they opened the gates, I got them cold and kissed the ground, and I knew that was my last time ever going to bed. Oh, so you did all the time in the I did the last two years in the What the I was in Fox and B. I, I stayed in THRBC for like six months then because they had a lot of shit going on. What's your DOC though? Oh man, wow. Oh, capping, man, I can't I can't I can't remember. Don't got the I can't remember why. I got one. What's yours? Three three one two oh one. 
Man, I back in, nigga asked me yesterday how old I was. I realized I was 46. I was telling him I was 45. That's understandable. No, it's not because I'm telling you a lot of lot of shit. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember the my bad. You heard me? I remember a lot of shit that happened bad, but a lot of shit like that, I, I, my memory's not good. You know what I'm saying? Even you know, with my, even, you fucking right. Who would want to get that? Message is, say you're in Walmart now, and you see a dude who beat you up when you was in jail, you going, hey, you remember me? You throw something at him or something? <laughs> or you going to sit and try to duck? <laughs> I'm not ready. Right. <laughs> but if I'm with you, I might speak to them. I might be scared to much you with me. I ain't. I don't, but how, like you said, how the fuck he gonna know we both scared? Cause he gonna be a tear. I'm scared. I ain't gonna make eye contact. I ain't gonna go get beat up. Hey, but street. honestly, like a lot of dudes see me today, and they see me from that I was knocked over, and they be like, "Man, you really, you really was a cool dude." You know what I'm saying? You know they they dab me off and shit like that. The ones who beat you up, even with the ones who beat me up, not like like man, I see a lot of them, bro. They be like, man. The only thing we like about you today is your stirs. <laughs> and you see, that's what God is living and going through it every day now, mm -hmm. your stir. And it, it, it makes me feel good, but I just feel like I had to, when I told them, I had to be honest about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why I tell my folks, it's all based on true story. Everything I did, you got people sit there tell you from, been there with me, and they got people sit there and watch me. I got guards that see me today on my pages. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I remember y'all, I had to take him out to sit, you know what I'm saying? But my biggest fear was, my biggest fear was thinking I wasn't going to make it home. That was my biggest fear. I wasn't worried about it, but it was just, because when I first went in there, it was like fighting every fucking day, fighting every day, shit taking every day, you know what I'm saying, going to different places, going to court. It didn't seem like I would make it. And I, you know, it, 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 it fucked with me, bro. But now you're made. And, and it looked like everything's going so much better. That's good. You know? That's good. But like I tell any child today, bro, I don't give a fuck how you look at any prison. It ain't for no black man. It ain't for no male, but I speak mainly to my. So it's for females, you saying? It ain't for them. It's you just saying it ain't for no It male, ain't for right? no black male. So it's for homeless people? It's for whoever the fuck who, 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 who. It's prison ain't, it, it, it's the ideal of prison, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be a slave in a slavery mind and shit like that, it's not just for no bad people. That's just a, that's just a thing to put on the coast. But actually, that is just really a slavery. You know what I'm saying? It's just a, a farm. Plantation. Yeah, that's all it really is. And it's no, you know what I'm saying? People say it's rehabilitation, but actually, if you're not rehabilitating yourself, it's not nothing in there for you because it's got so much shit to disturb you and take you out this shit. You know? Yeah. And, you know, even with me going through Hunt's boot camp. <laughs> He must be going through Hunt's boot camp. Goose picking, oh, running every morning, doing push ups in front of everybody, standing up in child, eating while y'all up there looking at us stupid. Only thing that kept me going was knowing that I, I didn't have to do that 14, I had to do that 7 out there and rest on paper. And God worked with me and he got me out of that shit. But you got on paper in 2019 somewhere? Man, they cleared that shit 2016. Whoa. They cleared that shit. I ain't had no no tickets, no charges, nothing like that. I went to my meetings that I had, I did all my shit that I was supposed to do. My sister helped me. You know, she helped How me. How was your sister? Four and six. Why you stop when you had a Because thing? when a motherfucker asks you how old your sister is, it's just gonna make no fucking good. <laughs> and then I'm looking at you, you just look like you just got no fucking good. And you know what I'm saying? Well, no, here's the thing, though, because I'm like, if you, you know, you usually could be a younger sister, older sister, and helping you. So I was like, you know. She's she, 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 the older sister. She actually is an old person for um, the Delta Sigma Thetas. She okay. over them. She, so she, she got children? She's the president. Why is we talking about my motherfucking sister? Because I might need to know, I might need her to help me get all paid. You know, get don't get on the motherfucker. I'm already okay. Too late. Don't you don't me. help everybody. You don't help the brother? Dude? I'm going to help you. <laughs> I'm helping you now, then you fucking take me down. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but honestly, I, if you need help, I got... No, if I, no, I want a sister, because if I can't even meet sister. What the sister, fuck you mean you want my fucking sister? <laughs> <laughs> she helped you, so I'm pretty sure. You ain't inside the fucking team, the fuck you mean, man? She on social media, let me hear her. <laughs> I'm about to give her to you. 911. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She work with the phone with She can handcuff me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
But I, I, I learned a lot of shit. But see, if I go back tomorrow or the next day, if I have, I know what not to do. Right? I know how to do shit. I know how to stand and defend for myself because I know the outcome is going to be regardless of whether you fight or not. So you saying you go to jail now, you already know in your mind you're going to get beat up, but you know. No, I'm not going to get beat up no more. Oh, no, because so no, I'm going to try to get in a, a spot where they can watch me. Well, it's a 24 hour watch. I'm not going, man, I'm not. I'm, but I know how to handle myself now. Oh, honestly. Do you have a meat table leg in there? Who the table leg? You know the table leg. Sign up, bitch. Who the fuck is the table leg? Who the table leg? <laughs> <laughs> you talking about messy seat? <laughs> you know the table leg in the prison, bro? Mm mm, mm mm. This boy, he's it's a good. Thing. Why don't you get in the video so they can come up with some meat, man? <laughs> 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 we gonna have nothing left to eat tonight. <laughs> nah, yeah. bro. Ah, uh, bro. But I see. But my thing is always. I got so much fear in me from watching movies, and that really was scared me the most. You know what I'm saying? Even like when I seen that movie with uh, C. Bird and Pina. You know what I'm saying? When it was. I'm um, body body. No, when they went to prison. When they all was in it. What that movie that was? Man, on C. C. Murder. It was um. Yeah, it was um a documentary or a movie. It was Master P. Yeah. It was all. Oh, it was a movie when they went, when they was in um that movie was. It was just a clip, but they was um no limit was in the, in, the, in the prison setting. I never saw it. Yeah, it was, it, was a, it, it was a clip they had them in that bitch. It was it was P. Oh. If you pull the bitch up on uh, you, I forgot I forgot uh, the name. But you know when you see the prison sentence like that, and as a child you see that shit, you really think prison is you know what I'm saying. What it really is, and like I say, my daddy worked at Angola. Yeah. And and I and, yeah, Alan Jones. And I used to take that ride with him to go get his checks. You know what I'm saying, like that. Mm -hmm. And just the ride scared me. It was just the ride scared you. Real shit. Just the ride scared you. And you on that gravel road going down that motherfucker, bro. You never know if you gonna make it back. Come on, let me just say lock down, lock down, or some shit. You in that big business or whatever you're doing, it's over with. Right. You gotta stay in one spot. And I done seen movies like that, but it used to scare me, bro. But I never knew how bad prison was till I got to East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. Mm. And, I, and I remember dudes telling me, man, he and dudes say, well, that's Baby and Gold. Well, I never room? did time in Angola, but I sure felt like I was in Angola. Mm. But, you know, it's all mm. good. Well, man. Anything y'all want to see before we get out of here? Yeah, I'm gonna get back with at him because this shit ain't go the way the fuck it was supposed to fucking go. <laughs> this the tables had fucking turn. See, next time I got the fucking questions because this shit here. <laughs> but I'm glad to be with you, man, because it, it, it's a blessing to be to somebody that's. You really know what I'm saying? Man, I appreciate. It. I'm just happy, I'm just happy to have fun with y'all. Seen y'all do the first out there, but that's pretty cool. I want to mm -hmm. meet him, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I got my ass whooped a lot of time. I ain't and it's, it's it's weird because some people like this motherfucker crazy. Like he don't care about telling nobody he got his ass whooped right back. But I feel like you have to you know it real. what yeah, happened yeah, with, it with to me. Like and it's like they say authentic is what they want. I just can't do nothing but keep it real. Yeah, but yeah. I'm glad, bro. I was able to walk out there with my manhood yeah. because, like I say, well, maybe on the next one we'll find out about that. <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers like you and maybe no one never do no more fucking video. <laughs> hey, but all of us decide. It it was an experience. And the experience I wouldn't want to brush on him, 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 or you to nobody that went through it like that. Let me ask you this, would you would you would you would you wish prison on your worst enemy? On my worst enemy? I let them put their own self and I wouldn't wish it on them. Cause I wouldn't want nobody to wish that shit on me. But this is your enemy that you hate, your worst enemy. God will deal with him. God will deal with him better than I could wish. I had to learn a lot of that shit, bro. Because my old thing would have had me still doing the shit that I was doing back then today. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell people, I'm glad I, I went through this shit at a very early age. And I'm glad I was able to come out to tell people, bro, because somebody needs to hear this shit. Okay. Somebody needs to know that it's not all gravy. Somebody need to know that your friends ain't your friends in there. Somebody need to know that when you walk in there, everything fucking changed. Okay. You know, what happened on the streets is still in the streets, but that shit could carry. You know what I'm saying? Your enemies on the streets, still your enemies in there. And they're ten times worse. And I didn't realize that shit, bro. 
You, you had something to eat today? Did you eat? Did they eat no food? <laughs> that shit, dog. I know it's about to be. You got something up for us? Then he looking like he's fucking mad because he. I'm some more. I'm full. I guess the fuck's up. Two pieces and. What do you say when we went to pick him up? Let him go get an egg sandwich. <laughs> Nine o'clock tomorrow, we not gonna. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. talking about an egg sandwich. I'm just sandwich. living. That's yeah. all I'm doing. I'm living yeah. and I'm eating. Yeah. I'm, I'm smiling. I'm happy right hey, now. Hey, bro. You know, you know what? Saying? You said the best thing. You smiling. I'm smiling now because I'm not where I was back then. Yeah. See, back then, man, I had frowns on my face. Should have been eating. How? They were taking my fucking food. food. They didn't even hear my stirs. They took my chicken. My bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, on Wednesday. No, man, don't put your love in the plate. Wow. I've been through it, bro. But I'm telling you, the same dudes that put me through it, they see me today and they be like, damn, man, in my mind, I really do be fucking so mad sometimes. But they made me stronger in ways mentally. Because I physically, I couldn't endure the shit. But mentally, they made me strong. They made my mind strong. Because like a lot of shit, now you ain't playing no penitentiary games on me, none of that shit. I'm up on it. You know what I'm saying? See, I didn't know about all that shit back then. You know, I, I didn't know when I let the motherfucker use the freeway. I made let motherfucker make a freeway car and I walk away from the phone and motherfucker be trying to holler at my old lady. Asking, you know, I didn't know that shit. And then when I found out the shit, I, I figured like, I would try to be a man and go ask the nigga, why the fuck you trying to holler at my lady, nigga, turn what? My bad, dog. I was just asking you a simple question. Did she give you a number? <laughs> <laughs> it takes two now. Hey, but, but real shit, though, bro. It, it, I've been through a lot. I don't know how to open. I thank God for that. <laughs> man, I'm in the building. <laughs> <laughs> OG Giggity, Marla Pee Wee, Nitty TV, man. Wow. We out, man. Yeah, make sure to keep it real. I guess they don't need the TV, y'all. Yes, sir. Only on the Only on the Only on the Only on the